RPG Gale of Windoria is a throwback to the classic RPGs from the past, and it screams nostalgia if you can remember those types of games. A classic RPG full of exploration and deep in story. This game is definitely interesting. In terms of character customization, there isn't any as far as I can tell. You start your journey by playing as a young boy who dreams of becoming a knight in a small village and is friends with the castle's Wind Maiden. I was curious to see if getting new weapons and armor would change how you look, but so far I haven't seen any major visual changes in the character. Disappointing, but I suppose when the game is retro style pixel art, perhaps the devs are aiming for that specific style of game. What is up my dwellers of the interwebs, I'm Sora Sin and welcome to my channel. Please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you like my content. And if you're watching this on TapTap.io or on the TapTap app, I hope you'll consider following my profile as well. Gameplay wise, this game is really quite a lot of fun. There is a lot of story in this game, there's plenty to read and the story is actually quite interesting too. I haven't once thought about skipping the story scenes and it's been pretty fun to read it all. But then again, even if I wanted to skip the story, there is no skip mode, so there's that too. The combat is all too familiar if you've played the classic RPGs from the past. Even the grinding factor of spinning around in circles to battle mobs over and over again to gain levels is present in this game. Something I did for a good 30 minutes in order to advance the main story because the nebula monsters destroying me really easily. But after all that grinding, I came back stronger and was able to continue. This is also a great way to level up your quartz, which is like your gems that can be socketed into your weapon. By feeding extra quartz, you can level up your main quartz and make it stronger, so your skills used will hit harder and you won't have as much trouble with monsters. The controls are very simple, but I was struggling in the early stages to try and find out how to interact with NPCs, and then I found out that the interact button is super tiny and in the bottom right hand corner. It's so small, it's very hard to see if you're not looking for it in the corners. Visually, this game is gorgeous. As a pixel art game goes, the artwork is so clean and it truly reminds me of the games from the past. The game runs at a smooth 60 FPS and even though it's pixel art, the expressions are clearly visible and work well with the story. Gale of Windoria is truly a beautiful game. Overall, I'd say that RPG Gale of Windoria is a stunning game with gorgeous visuals and a super deep story that will create a huge time sink if you take the time to delve deep into the story of the game. Save the Wind Maiden from becoming a life sacrifice and be the hero you believe you can be. If you think this game is something you would be interested in, you should definitely give it a go. Download it on taptap.io or on the TapTap app now and see for yourself. So there you have it, that's my first impression on RPG Gales of Windoria. Thank you for watching, I'm Sorosin, have a fantastic day, feel free to follow me on all my socials, links are all in the description and pinned comment below. Thank you